outside. Do you want to yeah, sure. have a walk? Yeah, so yeah, I can of course. show you the yeah. different places. Yeah, okay. thank you. So, yeah, you've been doing well? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a long time it since. It has been. Uh... Conan Mocassin sur Pure Channel pour un album incroyable uh, Forever Dolphin Love. Thank you very much Conan for being back on Pure Channel. Uh, nice to be back. <laughs> It's a pleasure to see you again. Uh, we saw each other in Transmusical de Rennes. The viewers can go to our previous interview. Of course, we're going to try not to say exactly the same things. Uh, the only difference is the first time I only saw you on stage. And now I've received the record, mm. so I've discovered uh, many new things about you and your, your music. First thing is the voice. The voice is amazing on the recordings, because uh, it seems to me you sometimes double the takes. Yeah, there's a bit of, there's some double take, double tracking. Yeah. Oh, yep. But. Does it create imperfections sometimes, doubling the voices? Because they're not exactly the same, no? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think so, but sometimes I'll, it also, uh, maybe it hides imperfections as well. But I like, I like single track vocals as well. Uh, it's, it's only got, it doesn't have doubling all that much. It's, no, no. Uh, it's about half and half. <laughs> but, um... 50-50. 50-50, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, have you, uh, listening to the record, I was wondering, is Bowie uh, a big influence for you? Uh, not that much. Not not that much actually. Um, it's more for that. It was more soundtrack. Uh, just sound, really neat soundtrack stuff that I really liked. It was more influential than that, and that's why it sort of sounds like that with a few songs popping in. But yeah, I love I love Bowie's stuff as well, of course. But it wasn't actually a big influence. Actually, probably more than Bowie. I reckon would be. Uh, Even Serge Gainsbourg would yeah. be more of an influence for that record, or that Melody Nelson. I love the shortness and the, the, how it feels like a record, the Melody Nelson yeah, record, yeah. it's really neat. Of course there's Gainsbourg, and I think the way you you treat and produce the bass and, and drums are sometimes very, like on Melody Nelson, was, you know? Yeah, well I was listening, when I, two years ago, when I made that record, I was um, listening to a bit of that then, so it definitely will have a bit of... Uh, but mostly there was not really any influences because I didn't. Yeah. But like for instance, the bass on uh, "Forever Dolphin Love," yes. even before the crazy riff, yeah, the the bass does it. It's a groove that is very present in Gainsbourg. Oh right, yeah. I I yeah, I didn't feel that one. I was thinking more. It's Chode, my dear, was had that was the because of the real simple. Yeah, felt yeah. very. But no, I didn't. I didn't you, really know. I saw you paintings on that record because I must say that you did all the paintings inside. It's like there's a lot of instinct in your paintings. We're going to show them well, on TV, and know, it's instinctive. I think that it's the same way. It's you use the same. It feels the same when you are just like doing. Yeah, using instinct, and it's the same thing with music as to painting. It's, you know, when you get in that kind of good space, sometimes it's not always happening, but. Um, it definitely feels the same. Yeah, it looks like you're searching for that moment. Not, yeah, not yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's annoying when it doesn't happen, but it does, no, it doesn't always happen. It's quite scary to jump into doing something uh, because of that fear of it not happening. And the good thing about playing live is you get forced to play. You've got to play a show and you're forced to do it. Like, you wouldn't just, if you had a choice, you probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't really do it. <laughs> On stage, like when people listen to that record, it seems you're always in between dream or nightmare. And <laughs> sometimes you look very cool and and smooth, so and sometimes it looks like you're fighting some yeah, devil. Yeah, that's what I was sort of thing I was saying to you last time, I yeah. think. Yeah, it, it, yeah, and it would be, like I was saying last time, it would be nice to have it smooth the whole show, yeah. I think the more... Uh, because this is the first time I've released anything, it's starting to feel a lot easier to play now because uh, you've got people coming to, I think this show in Paris I'm doing is the uh, first time I've done my own show that hasn't been like a club night or supporting someone, so it's a 
because people know the songs it's made way easier it's yeah. like you don't have to uh, you don't have to try and win I've been to try and win an audience over that don't know what you're doing you know so it's uh, really nice to yeah it's, I think it should just get more and more relaxing hopefully from now on the good thing is that people buying legally that record could discover the live version of the record because you you put two CDs in that one yeah Forever Dolphin Love and Forever Dolphin Live. Right. Yeah, it's a great idea. It's a heard. little. It's a, a, a uh, Errol Elkin recorded that uh, the live one with uh, with a friend of his uh, late late last year uh, um, in uh, our apartment, the apartment I was staying in in London last year. Yep. And it was just a small. It's quite a stripped back live record. It's not like uh, it's not like a concert or anything. It's maybe 30 people in a an apartment in London. So it's got a and because it's not it's not it's a strip. It's not. I think it's like four of us playing in it, and it, it's a little bit different to the record. Yeah. Do you do the painting? Um, and also, is it a sculpture on the it's cover? It's a uh, paper mache. Uh, it's a life sized. I'm, I'm, made it with all sorts of you know cardboard and paper mache and stuff and cut my hair and that's your hair on the a lot of it some of it is yeah and uh and then just then just painted it and painted a got this really nice blue paint and i painted a big board and because this thing this this puppet it's, it's really a it's a self-portrait sort of yeah this well, one. It, it looks like and that's it. just a photo but, um, so it's not photoshopped or anything like it's actually popped. Is it part of your everyday work uh, a lot, painting and doing this? Or is this uh, just a hobby? Uh, no, I, li I like to, uh, um, it depends, I just don't have much free time at the moment. Music seems to be taking up. But I've got a couple of exhibitions coming up in Paris and London uh, at, at some galleries later in the year, mid middle of the year, so I'll, I'll hopefully get a bit of time to do some so. Uh, question, my last question might be, might be for the listeners that are going to listen that record for the first time because I think it is a record uh, that takes um, more and more precision and uh, after you listen it several times. Uh, there's a part of it that is a bit psychedelic or I was wondering, do you think people meet products, could be wine, drug, love, uh, to discover it in another way. Do they need to take? To, yeah, do they need for instance. to? Um, um, some, a lot of people need to take drugs and stuff for anything. So maybe they do. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like uh, I don't know. I think I think people. I think a lot of people do take drugs because maybe they don't have much imagination. Yeah. So they kind of get to experience something that they don't in day to day. Um, that's a shame to think that they, some people have to take drugs to listen to a record, but if, if they have to, then they have to do that. <laughs> they have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it opens new spaces. Yeah, I mean, if it, yeah, if it does, then it, it might not be a bad thing, as long as you're not hurting anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, uh, okay, thank you very much, Conan. I'm welcome. telling this uh, this record, again, is a very unique record. Conan Moccasin, Forever Dolphin Love and Forever Dolphin Live, played uh, in Conan's Kitchen in London, something like that. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll meet uh, again on Pure Channel to see you play uh, live or acoustic. It will be a pleasure. Awesome. Yeah, we'll okay. definitely do that. Okay, so that's a rendezvous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. Yeah. <laughs>